In this tips and tricks tutorial, we look at how RailClone can be used to create a procedural bookcase. To get started, click on the RailClone object and open the style editor. All of the segments and the first array are already included in the style. Click on the array, go to the rules and set the mode to adaptive. Go to general and change the X rotation to 90 degrees so that the bookshelf stands upright. Next we'll establish the dimensions. Drag in a new spline node, pick spline from the scene and connect it to the X-spline input. Click on the array, right click, go to export, Y size, add a numeric parameter, set it to scene units, rename it height, and wire this to the Y size input. Set the height value to about 1.7 meters. And let's wire the top to the top input so that we can see the height. Let's keep going, put the bottom in the bottom side input. We'll add the sides to the left side input. But of course it needs to be flipped to go on the right side, so add a mirror operator. Wire the sides into the mirror input and then wire the mirror into the right. Do the same thing with the top and bottom corners. So the top corner just goes in the left top corner input. And the bottom corner can go in the bottom left input. And then we need two mirror operators, one for each, to do the other side. So this gives you your carcass. Um, the last thing we need to do is just to add the back to it and we'll do this by putting the back here into the default input. This gives you the shelf of the bookcase. Uh, we'll create the shelves on the inside by duplicating this array. So copy and paste this array and disconnect all the existing inputs. Now we'll wire the shelf to the Y evenly input and export some values so that we can control the height of the shelf from the parameters rollout. So export X evenly distance and Y evenly distance. Clone the height numerical node, control and V twice and we'll call this one shelf height and wire it into the Y evenly and we'll take the other numerical node and call it verticals width and wire this into the X evenly. We can set a value of about 0.5 meters, we'll give us two shelves and perhaps for the verticals width 0.3. We'll also wire the shelf node to the bottom side input to give us the bottom shelf but you can see it's too low and it's because of this plinth here so what we can do is take the shelf um, transform fixed translation value and just push that up to about 0.14 so that's the shelves done but we may need to put a space in between them because we're going to do the vertical elements in another third generator so um, in order that they don't interpenetrate the vertical elements we need to put a gap in there so we've got an empty segment here, there's nothing assigned to it. If we plug this into the X evenly input and give it a value in the left padding of 0.11, it's half the thickness of the shelves, so or 0.011, and you can see a space opens up into which we can put the vertical elements. And finally, you might want to push that same segment into the left and right side because you can see here the shelves are just touching the outside of the carcass. So just to push those away from the edge a little, put the same segment with the same padding value into the left and right and it just pushes it in a little. Now finally, we'll create a third generator for the uprights. So take this array element here, right click, copy and paste. And just disconnect all of the existing nodes. Take the upright segment and wire it into the X evenly. And it fills in the spaces we left in the shelves. If we look at this from the front view in wireframe mode, 
You can see that the shelves go all the way down to the ground. So if we go to the properties transform and Y translation and put about 0.162, you'll see it'll sit neatly on top of the bottom shelf now. But there's a problem. You can see it's pushing through the top of the carcass and it's because the height uh, is the same for the carcass and the shelves even though the shelves have all been moved up. So what we need to do is to control the height separately for the two shelf generators. So to do that we need an arithmetic operator and we'll have a constant operator too. If we plug the height into the arithmetic operator, set the arithmetic operator to subtract mode and then plug the constant in and then we'll replace this in both of these two's Y size inputs. What you can do now is change this constant value, if we set it to scene units, to bring the height of this shelf down. Something like that. Now we have much more even spacing. And that's it. The completed style can be used to create a bookshelf of any width and height with easily accessible control of shelf height and spacing. The same principles can easily be applied to other shelving styles as well as a huge range of other furniture. Please ask in our forums if you have any further questions about any of the techniques demonstrated here or for more tutorials please see the Railclone tutorials page or our Vimeo and YouTube channels.